Hey everyone, John here again with GeoDroid John. I've got the Tronx EXY, it's running still, it's doing a great job. I've installed a X tensioner, X belt tensioner here, printed it on this machine. It uh, was from, just from some extra filament I got laying around, I got a bunch of extra filament down here. So it's just from samples, all these prints are from samples. And I've actually decided to knock out a project on this, it's a 3D printed clock. So I'm printing the clock, and it's got really good print so far. Look at that. Very crisp, very clean. I could probably do a tensioner for the Y belt now to tighten that up. But other than that, it looks really good. I wrote uh, some G-code that would actually just make it go up and down, up and down, up and down. Until, so the Z rod would get like worn in correctly. I added a little silicone grease to that. So the Toronto XY is a really good machine. I actually am enjoying it and for the price, $130 shipped. Minor issues with the building, you can fix it at your local hardware store. This is an incredible value. I still have the full print, full uh, review coming up, but I do have a, a build video coming out soon. But this is actually a really, really great machine. The profile I'm using right now is straight from Simplify 3D tech support. So I emailed them directly and they gave me the very next morning I had a new profile in my inbox so it's really awesome and this is that profile looks really great so yeah hit me up in the comments tell me what kind of 3D printers you have I'm interested in what my audience likes to see and why they're here but uh, until you know things change I think I'm just gonna keep on hacking here on 3D printers trying to fix them up and get them running and help you guys out with some tips and tricks Okay, guys, please like the video. It helps me uh, know what I, I should put out there and what you like. And subscribe if you're new here because I like knowing that you guys are coming back for more. All right, and have a great night.